Why has your healthcare professional recommended testing for penicillin allergy for your child? There are two main reasons for asking about a penicillin allergy. The first is that most kids who have a history of a penicillin allergy reaction are actually no longer allergic to penicillin. Penicillin allergy is the most common drug allergy in health records, but really less than five out of 100 are found to still be allergic when they undergo testing. The second is that unnecessarily avoiding a penicillin can actually be harmful to a child. Children who are avoiding penicillins are often treated with stronger antibiotics that may be less effective than penicillin. Furthermore, those stronger antibiotics may be associated with antibiotic-associated illnesses that can be serious and even lead to death. Because most kids with a history of a penicillin allergy reaction can actually safely take penicillin, we recommend that all children with a penicillin allergy label get evaluated and tested. The only way that we can know if a patient has outgrown their allergy is if they undergo testing. How is penicillin allergy testing performed? Oral penicillin allergy testing can be done in one or two steps. Penicillin skin testing is no longer necessary prior to challenge. So first, your child is given a small dose of an oral antibiotic called amoxicillin, and your child will be monitored for a reaction. If there are no symptoms of an allergic reaction, your child is given a larger dose of the antibiotic to swallow. If your child does have a reaction, your tester or healthcare professional will have everything they need right there in the room to treat your child immediately. Your tester or other healthcare professional will stay and monitor your child for the rest of the observation period. If my child is allergic to penicillin, what kind of reaction would they have? Most patients with a label of a penicillin allergy who undergo testing do not have any reactions to the testing. However, for those few patients who may have a true penicillin allergy, the most common reaction is a mild itchy rash. More severe reactions are very rare. Your healthcare team will have all the appropriate medications needed to treat any type of allergic reaction. What happens after the test? If your child does not have a reaction after both steps are completed, it shows that they are not allergic to penicillin according to the penicillin allergy test. You should tell your doctors, your dentist, and pharmacy that your child is not allergic to penicillin, and it's safe for them to receive these medicines in the future. Rarely, a mild rash may occur up to a few days later, even with the test in the clinic being negative. If this happens, let your healthcare professional know. Is the testing safe? Yes, this penicillin allergy test is safe. Most children who undergo this test won't have any reactions, but for those that do, symptoms are almost always mild. Severe reactions are extremely rare. Is my child too young? There's no minimum age for penicillin allergy testing. Children as young as one years old can have this testing done. My child's reaction occurred a few days after taking amoxicillin. Will this one dose challenge testing be enough to test for that reaction? The single dose is enough to capture even those reactions that initially took a few days to occur. My child had a rash with the testing. What happens next? Your healthcare professional will treat the rash. These symptoms mean that your child has not yet outgrown their penicillin allergy, but they likely eventually will. Your healthcare professional will refer you to an allergist for further evaluation.